Once in a while you see a new plugin release and you think why? Why do these plugins exist and what is the added value of these plugins? The new fire high and low pass filters by Acoustica raise these questions for me. These new plugins are filters, not creative filters, but a high and low pass. They share identical controls and four filter types. The first is bezel and aims to have the shape of the waveform as intact as possible regardless of the filter settings. It also has the slowest roll off. Let's call it more subtle. The Butterworth filter tries to have a flat as possible frequency response before when you do a high pass cutoff and after when you do a low pass cutoff. They are two resonant filters so the cutoff frequency gets a boost. This is nice for cleaning up low end and still have a boost on for instance kicks. You have the choice between a 2 decibel and a 6 decibel resonant filter. Below here you can select the slopes which are 6, 12, 24 and 36 decibels per octave. So from gentle to steep. With the 6 decibel option you cannot choose between the different filter types. Fire the HP is the high pass version and fire the LP is the low pass filter. What is the use of these filters? Well obviously it is to roll off high or low end to remove unwanted rumble or unhearable high frequencies. But also to focus your mix by removing high or low frequencies which overlap with other instruments. Especially the resonant filters for the low end have the great ability to boost for instance the low fundamental on a kick drum while removing everything below it. You can do the same with a bass guitar, only slightly higher to give the bass guitar its own fundamental while leaving room for the bass drum. The same can be done with a snare. And basically all audio. The same goes for the high frequencies with for instance overheads. Cut off around 10k so that area gets boosted and cut above. The sound of these filters can be described as smooth and musical. So it's like everything Acoustica does, these are no exception. Load time between the filters is actually really quick for an Acoustica plugin. CPU usage is minimal, the latency is around 5 milliseconds for each. There are also zero latency plugins included, which is standard with Acoustica. Still no resizing though, in 2022 this should be standard. But at least the interface is clean and clear and actually pretty to look at. You can get a little creative with these filters when you set the resonant filters to 6 decibels per octave and 36 decibels per octave roll off. It will get you those typical low pass or high pass sweeps, but it actually needs more resonance to really sell it. Like I teased in the beginning of the video, I have my doubts about these plugins. 
It's not that they are bad in any way, don't get me wrong. But where do they fit and who will get these plugins? These two plugins come together in a bundle and the list price is 39 euros. For that amount of money I expect more, to be really mix changing plugins. They don't do that, although they sound good and smooth. But if you take in consideration that literally every DAW has filters, any EQ plugin has filters, and a whole bunch of all sorts of plugins also have filters, I don't see the added value of these plugins. If they were free or cost 10 euros, then it could be something worth checking out. But not at this price with these limited functions. Maybe you completely disagree with me and that is fine. Let's discuss that in the comments of this video.